Hey, what it be? It's your boy Dre OG. Welcome back to the OG family. Make sure y'all smash that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you're rocking with the vibes and the content. Look, 50% of the people that watch my channel aren't even subscribed. Y'all go ahead and smash that subscribe button and stop being weird. You know what I'm saying? It's okay over here. But look, uh, look, man, hopefully y'all having a good day. Just know we're going through this thing called life together. Today, we got these real UFO sightings in 2022. You know what I'm saying? But look, let me know in the comments down below. Have y'all been seeing these weird uh, sky phenomena that's been going on? I know a lot of people have. Some of these shits are fake and some of them are going to be very real. But you have to decipher that for yourself. And we're here to have a good time. Break it down. Now let's get it, man. In the United States, the, the first only. popular story of abduction by extraterrestrials was that of Betty and Barney Hill. According to a variety of reports given by the Hills, the alleged UFO sighting happened about 10.30 p.m. September 19, 1961. The Hills were driving back to Portsmouth from a vacation in Niagara Falls and Montreal. Just south of Lancaster, New Hampshire, Betty claimed to have observed a bright point of light in the sky that moved from below the moon and the planet Jupiter, upward to the west of the moon. Betty reasoned that she was observing a falling star, only it moved upward. Because it moved erratically and grew bigger and brighter, Betty urged Barney to stop the car for a closer look. Betty, looking through binoculars, observed an odd-shaped like. craft flashing multicolored lights travel across the face of the moon. The hills said they continued driving on the isolated road, moving very slowly through Franconia Notch in order to observe the object, as it came even closer. At one point, the object passed above a restaurant and signal tower on top of Cannon Mountain, and came out near the old man of the mountain. The couple watched as the silent, illuminated craft moved erratically and bounced back and forth in the night sky. About one mile south of Indian Head, they said, the object rapidly descended toward their vehicle, causing Barney to stop in the middle of the highway. The huge, silent craft hovered about 30 meters above the hill's Chevrolet Bel Air, and filled the entire field of view in the windshield. Barney claimed to have seen 8 to 11 humanoid figures, who yeah. were peering out of the craft's windows, seeming to look at him. He saw the object again shift its location to directly above the vehicle. He drove away as fast as he could. Arriving home at about dawn, the hills assert that they had some odd sensations and impulses they could not readily explain, their watches would never work again. There were shiny, concentric circles on their car's trunk, that had not been there the previous day. Betty and Barney experimented with a compass, noting that when they moved it close to the spots, the needle would whirl rapidly. But when they moved it a few inches away from the shiny spots, it would drop down. The Hills account, however, is the second abduction story that became worse. I hear how they said that uh that their phone that their watches never worked again. That's because when if you go through one of these portals, whatever, whoop do a whoop. Time isn't really a thing. Time is something that we came up with in order to like meet each other at five o'clock type shit. You know, like meet me here at two o'clock. That's what that's what that was for. It's an illusion, though. World famous. The first is from 1957 and centered around Antonio Villas Boas, a farmer from rural Brazil. According to Villas Boas, on the night of October 16, while he was plowing fields with his tractor, he was taken into a spaceship by a group of ETs measuring about five feet tall. He was put in a room and saw gas coming out of the walls. The gas made him very sick. Then, a very attractive female naked with long platinum blonde hair fire red pubic hair and deep hold on nigga but she had all that shit going on with that face looking like that absolutely not nigga you ain't jumping my bones looking like that like nah we cool like you gotta that blonde hair blue eyes with a crocodile face nigga no deep blue cat eyes came and forced him to have intercourse according to villas boas her intentions were quite clear to produce a I done hit some things in my time, y'all, but I ain't doing that right there. You know what I'm saying? Like it's 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 a certain low that you can I ain't but if we start to intermingle with other life forms and stuff though, it, would that be like discrimination? Ugh, that motherfucker ugly, like, you know, I don't do green people. You feel me? Like we got a whole nother thing. Like white and black people, Asian people, we got different shit to worry about, man. These motherfuckers come like human alien hybrid that she would raise on her planet after he got back villas boas noted he had burns on his body a doctor from a reputable medical center diagnosed them as being radiation burns 
This doctor, Alavo Fontes, had contacts with the American UFO research group APRO. Villas Boas had no recollection how he got the burns. I see that we must wonder past whether it. these aliens are really that smart, given that they keep repeating the same experiment on human anatomy over and over again. The story gained worldwide popularity in the late 1950s. Many believed its veracity for politically incorrect reasons, claiming that a humble farmer from rural Brazil. Look at it. Y'all see that shit right there? That is wow, y'all. Right there, going across the screen, just in case you ain't see it. Would not be able to concoct such a tale. In reality, Villas Boas was neither humble nor uneducated. His family owned large tracts of land. Changed he direction. later became a lawyer and practiced until his death in 1992. No doubt his notoriety helped his career. The overwhelming majority of scientists categorically denies that narratives of abductions have any real component. When told in earnest, most are products of various kinds of abnormal psychological states, from fantasy-prone personalities to self-hypnotic trances, false memory syndrome, sleep paralysis, environmental disturbances during sleep, or some more serious type of psychopathology. Another possibility is a misrepresentation of reality caused by post-traumatic stress, plausibly due to some unwanted sexual encounter. Most abduction stories have elements in common, with that of Villas Boas. Kidnapping into an alien spaceship, medical exams, that center around the human reproductive system, or explicit sexual contact with extraterrestrials, and mysterious marks left on the body. The nearest star to Earth is about four light years away. Our fastest spaceship would take some 100,000 years to get there. If intelligent aliens exist and came here, they must have technologies that are beyond anything we can imagine of course. because they must be capable of fast interstellar travel, passing undetected by radar, and leaving without a trace. The feats are even more spectacular considering there are thousands of- Y'all see that? Y'all see that black craft that's right there that's just sitting here? It's been there. He's been moving the camera and stuff, so it's not something that's on his lens. None of that. Look at the shape of this thing, too. Is this a possibly like a fucking mothership? And you see this craft right here is like one of the ships that's that, that that boards it. Are they communicating? A lot of questions. Abduction narratives and UFO encounters, a topic that has been making headlines recently. On the other hand, we must wonder whether these aliens are really that smart, Look given that. that they keep repeating the same experiment on human anatomy over and over again. Look at that. Can they not figure out human biology? Or do they just have a perverted side? And are there different aliens coming to Earth? If so, how many species are out there, fixated on us? I find the possibility highly improbable, given their spectacular space travel technology. A close encounter of the first kind, is a simple sighting of an unidentified flying object, UFO, with no other supporting evidence. More than 95% of UFO sightings, are later explained as misidentified weather balloons, aircraft and so on. Hell there nah. is no reason to believe, that the tiny percentage of sightings that cannot be identified are anything strange. A handful of sightings will naturally lack sufficient evidence for identification, just as the police cannot find enough evidence to solve every crime. A close encounter of the second kind, is a sighting apparently supported by physical evidence, typically photographs. However, these photographs are often ambiguous pictures of ordinary objects. It is now easy to fake a photograph using Photoshop, for example, and there have been many hoaxes. Yeah. No sure. convincing evidence has ever been produced to support a genuine, close encounter of the second kind. A close encounter of the third kind, involves direct contact between humans and aliens, who often have messages for humans, for example about the dangers of nuclear war. Stories of close encounters of the fourth kind, where a human is abducted by aliens, now outnumber stories of encounters of the third kind. Experts agree that most people who claim alien abduction experiences are sane and sincerely believe they have encountered aliens. French proposes that a common phenomenon, sleep paralysis, could make many think they had contact with aliens. Sleep paralysis occurs just before one falls asleep or wakes up, normally lasts a few seconds, no and may feel a little odd, but no more. But in a minority of cases it can be a terrifying experience, accompanied by a strong sense of evil, 
difficulty breathing, seeing lights and grotesque figures, hearing voices and feeling one is being dragged out of bed. In the classic television series The X-Files, FBI agents attempt to uncover a conspiracy between aliens from another world and the United States government. Ideas about aliens vary from culture to culture and can be heavily influenced by the media, but the phenomenon of so-called alien abductions is relatively new in human history. 64% of respondents to a CNN poll said they believed aliens had made contact with humans, with 50% claiming that aliens had abducted humans. The concept of alien abductions is well established in American consciousness, but psychological research may be able to offer a more mundane explanation for widespread belief in so-called abductions. Sleep paralysis. When you sleep, your body freezes your limbs, decreasing the likelihood that you leap from the bed or injure yourself in your dreams. But sometimes sleep paralysis goes a little haywire, and people wake up unable to move. This can trigger an assortment of bizarre, dreamlike hallucinations. People who already believe in aliens may, in this semi-conscious state, interpret lights and sounds from outside as alien visitors. Upon returning to sleep, these memories can become even more lucid, through further dreams about aliens. Because sleep paralysis can be so frightening, though, People who yeah, that's because, you know, he keep going heavy on his sleep paralysis shit. Like, this is a long explanation. I just want to, like, this. That's the one up right now. But uh, he explaining this while showing you video evidence of shit. So these people aren't sleep recording this shit either. I understand. We understand understand what sleep paralysis is, right? I'm, 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 I'm thinking that y'all yeah, will know that, right? This, this, is, this is not the same. Who experience it and then saying, dream though. about aliens may interpret their experiences as real. Brain disturbances. The brain can do all kinds of strange things that seem real in the moment. After all, it's the source of dreams, false memories, and hallucinations. Researchers have found that electrical stimulation of the temporal lobe can produce images and experiences that some people may interpret as alien abductions. A seizure in the temporal lobe is sufficient to trigger abduction-like sensations, Ooh, so it may that. be that some people's memories of abductions are in fact memories of seizures. Mental health issues. Many people who report alien abductions are healthy, high-functioning individuals. Some, however, have a mental health issue that clouds their ability to distinguish fantasy from reality. Delusional issues are particularly likely to result in alien abduction memories, but research has also shown a correlation between alien abduction reports and schizotypal personality. People with schizotypal that personality are often perceived by others as eccentric and typically have unusual beliefs. They sometimes engage in magical thinking and may experience problems with perception. This may lead to interpreting an experience as an alien abduction. Memory difficulties. The memory can play a host of tricks on you. It doesn't act as a recording device, carefully cataloging every life event. Instead, the memory is highly susceptible to suggestion, belief, and fantasy. In some cases, it's possible people may misremember dreams, as reality or interpret a strange experience, such as a house shaking due to an earthquake, as an alien abduction. Cognitive biases can further distort memory. Confirmation bias, for example, is the tendency to see evidence for something you already believe. If y'all seen that shit in the sky, do that look like you tripping? Are we all seeing the same shit? I uh, meanwhile, this bot is just the Siri nigga is is sitting here reading to us from a article that came from Google, but you can clearly see the shit that's in the sky. That's why it's important for us to do this video right here because it shows what people are willing to do in order to confuse. See, a lot of people don't want to get on here and just be simple with the delivery. You want to you want to be overly smart or you want to invalidate other people's mental states. And that's what we have a huge problem with, especially here in the so-called, you know, in this corporation of the United States. You know, they 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 love to sit back and tell you what's wrong with you when in reality they already have documents on all of this stuff. As far as like their experiments with the brain, and how it works and what they're trying to keep you from. People that walk around here with 
powers of like telepathy and stuff like that that they use in order to do bids for the government. You got people that can, it's a, if it's a box that's sitting right here, they got to focus and they can tell you exactly what's inside that box that they've never seen inside before. You know, it's people out here that's like that and the government has used them. Y'all go ahead and look this stuff up. If you believe aliens abduct people and then have a frightening nighttime experience with a bright light, you may be tempted to fit this experience into what you already know, seeing it as evidence of an alien abduction. But what if it's real? There are plenty of scientists who are convinced there is life on other planets. No one can say with certainty whether aliens have visited our planet. Some psychologists, such as John Mack, have studied abduction phenomena, taking the stories to be true at face value. That's crazy. This field of psychology, called parapsychology, has gained a cult following among devotees of aliens and the UFO culture. Parapsychologists are interested in the effects of apparent abductions, and the ways the trauma of a memory of abduction affects the brain. Y'all seen how fast that thing moved up? Y'all seen how fast it moved up? Like all of these clips right here, it, 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 it shows you. And what, you know, they want to continue to do is invalidate what people are saying. This stuff has been, that's why I'm telling y'all it's important. If y'all made it through this video right here, I can understand if you didn't. Because they show clips and then what they're saying is they kind of contradict what's going on in the videos and try to give you an explanation that don't make any fucking sense. Because you can clearly, if you tripping, people have been clearly pulling out their phones, recording things, and they still tell you that that's not real. You know? And most of these people aren't wizards with, most people aren't, man. Like 98% of people aren't wizards, 99% of people aren't wizards with like Photoshop and all the other stuff. A lot of people got other shit they got going on in their lives, but they ain't got time for all of that. Then you can tell 99% of the time when people are faking something. But the thing is, what they want to do is they want to mix that with jargon about your mental capabilities, what you're capable of. They want to put you in a box. We're talking about people that don't even know how the this universe was even created. You see that they keep changing their stories on that shit right there alone. How many times have they turned Pluto into a planet? Pluto is not a planet. Going back and forth, you know. Thought these things were supposed to be facts and they were supposed to know everything. Come on now. Huh? These are theories, people, from what these people tell you. There's a lot of documents. Y'all can look up yourself about what they know about the human brain. It's not going to be the stuff that they tell you in these videos. It's not going to be this stuff, y'all. But yeah, man, that's it right there. Let me know how y'all felt about this video. I, I believe it's very important for us to set, set, go ahead and get that out of the way. You feel me? But look, hopefully y'all enjoyed this video right here, man. I know y'all been out here, out here discovering yourselves and our, in our universe, our planet, everything. You know, I've been seeing y'all comments and I love it that everybody individually getting out here and you're just learning something new. Just learning something new. All this is going to do is build your brain up and make you a better person. You're going to become a better understanding person in this world. And I wish nothing but the best for each and one of y'all. I don't care what color, what background you come from. You know, us as humans right here in this present time, we just all need to seek information. With that information, we do better and pass that along. Look, spread love because there's too much hate in this world. Love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. And I'm out. Bye.